Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Snipes and today I'm coming out with another video on how to play an operator. Now how to play an operator is a series that I started with how to play Hibana and a series I plan to carry across all of the operators that come out and especially as they make big changes to operators I plan to remake videos on that also. Now how to play an operator is going to be how to play an operator in a team environment, how to play with your team and basically how that works and how you will work within that team. Now these views are going to be subjective into the fact that it's going to be how I think an operator should be played based on how I play, based on what I've seen how people play, based on Pro League, Challenger League, and some of the Go Fours. Now this is going to be based on competitive play and it's going to be based on whether you're solo queuing or you're running in a five stack, what role you will fit as that operator on that team. Now remember that play styles vary from region to region, they also vary between players and their personal preferences. Anyways, let's start off with how to play Ash. Ash is one of the characters that was first included in Rainbow Six Siege as an FBI SWAT operator. Now there's three other FBI SWAT operators, Castle, Pulse, and Thermite. Also, at the time of her coming out, she was the only soft breacher that could breach walls from afar. This has made her very necessary in the competitive scene, and actually, she has seen a ton of use, and there's Ash mains everywhere running around with her breach charges, and her use over time has only grown, it seems like, especially since everyone seems to know how to play Ash. Now, Ash is a three speed, one armor, and she is definitely the poster operator for an entry fragger. She is a three speed, almost four speed, people call her, because she enters in so fast and she can get into the objective very quickly, especially the fact that her breach charges allowed her open holes from far away so she can plot her breach charges, put a hole there, and run through it as fast as she can and get in the objective and take the objective by herself almost. Her entry fragging abilities are not only important to getting into objectives, but also to getting into buildings and holding down sections of the building, areas of the building that you are trying to get rid of roamers and trying to squeeze out roamers from. Now moving on to Ash's loadout, we have two primaries. The first one being a G36C and an R4C. Now normally most people would argue that the R4C is more often than not the better choice. Now they're both not bad, it's just that the R4C is typically a lot better. The rate of fire and the damage is higher on the R4C, making people choose the R4C over it. And the recoil, honestly, there's not much of a huge difference between the recoil that would make choosing the G36C a better choice. That's why most people run the R4C. Now usually the R4C is ran in two different ways. If you're looking to maybe keep a medium distance on your opponents, you want to run it with an ACOG vertical grip compensator and if you want to put laser sight on it, that's up to you. Now people will also run it with say a reflex or a holographic instead of the ACOG because they know that they want to ash rush and they know that they're probably going to getting very very close to the enemy and using an ACOG up close really really isn't easy and it's more annoying than anything else. Moving on to Ash's secondaries we have an M45 which is pretty much a 1911 and a 5.7 USG. Now honestly the pistols are going to be up to you what you want to choose it's going to come down to what you choose for your iron sights because most of the time I would say if you're going to choose a pistol you need to hit a headshot with it because there's not enough damage done especially at 10-15 meters not enough damage done that you could take people out with more than a couple rounds and if they're using one of those submachine guns or some sort of shotgun you're going to run into a lot of problems trying to take these people down. Now for her gadget choice you have the choice between breach charges and stun grenades now obviously you have two breaching rounds from your unique gadget and I would argue that nine times probably ten times out of ten you don't need breach charges because you'll just have your ash charges instead so run the stun grenades especially for ash rushes and you'll be just fine now moving on to a unique gadget the ash charge the breaching rounds that she can shoot you have two of those breaching rounds which will allow you to make two big holes into soft walls into floors into pretty much any soft sort of environmental thing and this will allow you to put holes and put shooting holes and cover angles and let you run through into objectives and different kinds of things. Also side note, one of the clear ash rushing techniques that you'll hear while on defense is all of a sudden you'll hear maybe a front door or a window all of a sudden explode open and see a uh, three speed ash, four speed ash run straight through and probably shoot you if you don't shoot her first. 
Now, Ash's Breaching Charges only has one hard counter and one soft counter. Hard counter being Jaeger. If you fire it into a room or fire it across a hallway where there is an ADS, the ADS will zap the charge and you will not be able to use that charge at all. But if you're looking to get rid of that ADS or looking to be able to use your Ash Charge while there's an ADS present, just throw your stun grenades in. You will burn assets that you need or have Hibana come over and shoot her pellets into the room in order to get rid of that ADS. Now, as for the soft counter, we have Bandit. Bandit's not directly countering Ash, but if you were to shoot your Ash Charge at a deployable shield or barbed wire, anything that Bandit can put his things onto, the Bandit Charge will actually zap that Ash Charge away and you will not be able to blow that stuff up. So try to shoot the Bandit Charge before you actually use your Ash Charge. Now let's move on to our tips and tricks. Tip number one, what is an Ash Rush? How do I do an Ash Rush? Um, you've probably been on the other end of an Ash Rush or been able to see it on clips or videos from other people but I'm gonna explain to you kind of what an Ash Rush is. An Ash Rush is typically at the beginning of the round, probably within the first 30 seconds. You're gonna hear an explosion or as the Ash, you're gonna put a hole into say a double door or a window and you're gonna try to get into the building as fast as you can. A lot of times as an entry fragger, Ash actually will have teammate droning you in so that way you don't get killed or if you plan on getting into one part of the building, um, you'll leave a drone inside that room. A lot of times though, Ash Rushing involves getting into the objective, finding a very sneaky way without too many traps to get into the objective and kill as many people before you are seen and before you are detected. Now another tip that I want to mention is the difference in how a three armor, two armor, and one armor react to getting shot by an ass charge or if it gets placed at their feet, whether it downs them or kills them. Now here I'm gonna show a demonstration of what exactly it does to three armors, two armors, and one armors, shoot it at their feet and explodes at their feet. So another tip that I want to mention, if you're playing against a mirror who puts a mirror uh, window on a soft wall, you want to shoot your ash charge either right below it or right at it, and you'll actually be able to blow the mirror off the wall. Um, this is very useful because a lot of times you'll play mirrors, you put it on soft wall so you can throw C4s over it. Now again, another tip that I have for you guys today is... This should seem pretty obvious, but for the newbies, this is gonna be very essential for Ash play. You can actually shoot deployables and barbed wire and completely get rid of whatever's on the floor with it. And I'll show you guys that here on the clip, but it's very useful for Ash rushing and very useful just for your team play in general. Especially with this new trap meta that has been coming out, more lesions have been being played and more frost traps and stuff like that. On the other side of deployables, on the inside of barbed wire so it's a really good idea if you see a bandit charge on the barbed wire again don't shoot your ass charge at it it'll just be a waste shoot the bandit charge first then shoot your ass charge at it now the last tip that i really want to mention is the fact that because ash's breaching charges can be put on anything so they can put on ceiling a roof they can put on a wall you can actually do a lot of vertical gameplay with Ash's Breach Charge. And this is really necessary if you play Ash as more of a team player, not so much an entry fragger. Play a little more supporty kind of thing. And if you don't play with a buck or you don't play with the sledge, um, it's going to be necessary that you open holes in certain spots. I've used this a couple times on different maps, like say Consulate, where you're going to put a hole right above the garage so you can shoot anyone sitting behind White Van. Anyways, guys, that's going to conclude how to play Ash today. Now, remember... You can use Ash to Ash Rush in. She's more often than not an entry fragger. Also, with that being said, you can use her in sort of a support role, but a lot of people don't play her like that because they usually have other characters that they choose for those support roles. Also remember that if you want to get through, say, a soft mirror or barbed wire or deployable, you can shoot your Ash charge at those to get rid of them and open up lines of sight for your teammate. You can also use vertical gameplay is as part of your ash strat now this is very helpful for your team when you're trying to snuff someone out of a little corner that they might be hiding behind especially if they're hiding behind a mirror you can just shoot it from below anyways guys it's gonna wrap the video up for today um let me know down below if you guys have any comments or what character you guys want to see next i'm trying to play characters um all week so i've been trying to get this ash video out um ever since last week i was in montreal so we're gonna keep grinding these characters anyways let me know what you guys want to think see next that's going to be it for today. This is going to be Josh Snipes signing off. Vigil is, yeah, Vigil is still in reception there's still, area. Yeah, there's still someone below me. Josh, is that your head oh. on that window? I think that's, that's Vigil. Yeah, Vigil. So just cross over to the left. Cross over to the left. Watch this window.
Bandits on the stairs. Ella's on black stairs. Marked window is where Vigil was last seen. Nice, nice. Copy. Nice, nice, nice. One op four remaining. Nice, Josh. All right, push him hard. Push yo, him yo, hard. go get get diffuser. On me, on me. Coming from drum. He's gonna come from drum. Just get inside and plant. Nice. Uh, uh, four Friendly mission.